Okay, so now we're going to learn some more about blend shapes in particular for the face. So this will give us a good uh, real life example of how to use blend shapes. So I've just made a plane here and I'm going to bump this up to maybe um, something like 14 divisions. I think that will serve us okay. And we're going to make what I say is the world's fastest face. <coughs> so grab that one there, that one there, actually it's this one here. Create an eyebrow here, there we go. And we can create a mouth down here, something now. Yeah, let's include that. So we now have a, a lovely face. I'm gonna switch off the grid for this demo. So we have our lovely face here, uh, all, all nice and ready to rock. Uh, and we wanna make some blend shapes for him. So let's do this by duplicating that out. <laughs> three <coughs> different blend shapes and uh, in this example I am going to actually come in here and uh, and rename these guys so let's have a look at this uh, this guy can be a pout pouty face this guy here can be a frown he's a frowny face now you'd call these a little bit more complex names in a real scene underscore B blnd for blend shape or whatever you like. But for now, we'll just keep these nice and simple. And this one is our default or neutral. Let's call him default, yeah. Okay, so we've got our default face. We've got our smile, frown, and pout faces. So all this stuff's pretty easy. Now we wanna, um, I'm actually gonna rotate these 90 degrees, holding down the J key for snap. Let's snap them. There we go, 90 degrees. That's just so it's a bit easier for us to see here. And uh, at this point in time, uh, it is good to note, do not freeze the transforms, and, or if you do, let's move them all to world zero. Now we can freeze transforms on all of this. Because these objects are um, going to be seeking the same uh, the same world space. So it's a, it's a good idea never to freeze transforms on your objects unless you're sure that they're all in the same place here, which they are. <coughs> so just to get those back, let's move these all across in the power face. Okay, so now we have these objects. I'm going to make the world's fastest uh, shapes. This guy's our smile. So let's come in here with our our um, soft select, and these aren't going to be perfect, but let's just do a little quick smiley face. Maybe again here. Bring them down a little bit, just move them up. So there we go, we have a little smiley face, one of the world's worst smiley face. I'm actually going to grab these vertices, the bottom ones, um, and just snap them as well. So just take off our soft select, which is the B key, by the way. Um, select those guys and let's snap them to that now I have to be in world situ situation uh, actually now if your um, vertices are snapping like this uh, which I obviously haven't set by default is double click on the move tool and we can come down here to retain component spacing switch that off that's a, a nice little tip in my switch that off and now when we uh, make sure we're in world coordinates as well by holding down the W key and we can go into vertices snap and snap them now and it won't retain them like it was before it'll make them all flat which is a nice little tip I also don't want to be uh, changing these guys up here now there's another way of doing this but for now I know I can just keep them snapped to there uh, we've got a couple of vertices just in too much of the same position, so I'm just going to go into line mode as well and bring them down just a touch. Let's do that. <coughs> okay, so now we have a smile shape there, uh, and I'm going to grab, come in here and grab, do a similar thing here, and we're going to create a, a frowny face. And we have a pout. A frown and a smile so you can see that the pout and the frown are actually look quite similar but we have actually done different things and this is how the face works so that later on when we see these multiplied together we will be able to see 
how um, we can create an extra frown by multiplying the pout and the, f the frown together. And this is exactly how the face works, kind of in real life. I'm just gonna tweak these vertices here too. Okay, so now we have our faces, let's select them and select this guy last. And we're gonna go create the formless blend shape. Make sure we've got our reset settings and just hit create. Now we've got a blend shape here with our pout, frown and smile. So uh, we can come in here you can see our frowny face there, our pout here, and our smile. Now I'm going to come in here, edit, select the node, and just show you guys about the frown and the, um, the pout. So you can see how putting the pout in and the frown and adding them together gets, gives us like an extra, uh, our extra frowny face. And I've also noticed that on this guy here, We've moved those eyes around a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna snap them back up, remembering that we've got retained sp component spacing off, so that when we move these guys around, blend shape, edit, select node, that those eyes aren't moving around anymore. Okay, now of course, we could add um, a pout and a frown and then a smile as well, but the smile is starting to negate things. So I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. But uh, uh, a lot of face shapes aren't made to be combined and they don't actually combine in the real world so you wouldn't animate them combined. But uh, it's up to you, you really can animate the face however you like it. So that's uh, just a really simple demo with these faces. Now, now that I've got this reset back to zero, I'm gonna duplicate this face off and just show you a very simple um, example, I'm going to make a few more for the eyes. Now, uh, these are all our eyes, so we call them appropriate. I'm just going to do this now. All right, so uh, I've just named these and I've also named them eyes underscore blink so we can tell them apart from these guys. So I'm just gonna add these guys and make them uh, be mouth. So let's do that. Okay, so now we have these named as mouth, smile, whatever, uh, different different face shapes. Uh, I'm also gonna make another couple of face shapes here just, to, just for interest uh, for this demo. So I'll do that now and put it in fast forward. Okay, so we just called this mouth lips in and mouth lips out. Uh, all right, so now the last step that I'm gonna do here is do the same for some eyebrows and I'll just give some eyebrow type expression here. So uh, let me do that and put this in fast forward as well. Okay, so there we go, we have a whole bunch of different brow shapes, a whole bunch of different eye shapes, and a whole bunch of different mouth shapes. Now, of course, you could go on and on and create a lot of different variations, depending what you're after. Uh, it's really up to you. I'm just gonna name these guys so that we can see them properly too. Okay, so now that we've created all our face shapes, we can put all these together into one sort of a node. And at the moment I've created a few here. I could add these, but um, as you notice, the names don't update. We've called this one now Mouth Smile, but down here on our blend shape, our smile is still called Smile. So I just wanna delete history on that. Make sure everything's zeroed out, delete history on that. So I've got a hotkey for that. And what we can do is just now connect them all up in order. So those guys those guys and it will sort of like create a, a reverse list for us of uh, the order that we create for our blend shapes. So let's do that. Create reforms blend shape. I know I've got reset settings. So let's do that. And now we've got our blend shape node with a big long list of things and we can see very clearly uh, we've got all our mouth ones, we've got our eyes and our, our sad, happy and sad sort of eyes together here. And let's just do something really quickly here. Look at some, some different combinations. So we can have our um, sad uh, frowny face with a little bit of pout, 
right? And now we've got our eyes sad and we can have our brow as being sad as well. And we've got a sad face. So this is good because we could uh, really add all these things together and we can, you know, make him blink. Now those vertices are going a little bit too far there. So when I key this, I could either create a fixed shape for that or I could actually um, come in and just as it's blinked, key the uh, frowny eyes off, the sad eyes, as you can see, that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm going to go through here very quickly now and just do a very short little um, animation on some of these things, show you a little bit about how they can blend together and I'll talk to you about it afterwards. So let's put this in fast forward again and I'm just going to be right clicking. Uh, actually I've got a hotkey here just for S to key, key that, key them individually. Uh, we'll just make a very short uh, 48 frame uh, animation here and you'll see how that these can kind of blend together. Okay, so here we have a very simple rudimentary animation of just combining all of these shapes together. So I'm just going to play this animation through for you. And you can see how that's animating. It's really pretty simple. Even now at this stage, I could come in here and actually on the smile shape, say, um, just have a look at the smile shape. Uh, I noticed that we have this lips out. So when the smile comes out, uh, the keyframe is there we can sort of have the smile come out a bit wider. So let's have a look at that. See how it comes out much more wider now. Now throughout that section, we can come into our graph editor and just have a look at the smile. Now, good thing about this is we can just select that and it'll come up in the channel box and it will just come up here. So we've got that mouth smile there, but we want to affect actually loops out. And until we go back down into the frown, the frown is there, the smile is there. Let's select the lips out and that frame there, we're at 0.6. So I'm just going to copy that there and copy that over to these keyframes. There we go. So now we have a nice, very simple um, animation and you can sort of see how I'm doing a little bit of editing there to combine some of these shapes. Even when uh, here he blinks we go a little bit too low just here on the eyebrow on the eyebrows and the brows. I've actually introduced a little bit of the angry eyebrows just to get a little bit of that down and up shape here in this sort of section of the face here. So you can really be creative with blend shapes and do uh, a lot of different things uh, like that. Uh, the last thing that we could do that I might show you just in this demo too is uh, we could just create a joint. So let's create a couple of skeletons and I'm just going to create with a, with my snap on a joint here and then a joint for the mouth right about here. So now we have two joints and I'm just going to skin this up in the most basic fashion I can think of and I'm going to skin, bind skin, smooth bind settings, uh, edit reset settings. I need to the whole hierarchy. I want to use uh, interactive is good and closest distance, that's all pretty decent. So let's just do this. And I'm just going to quickly, very quickly uh, go into the component editor. So window, general editors, component editor. Uh, this is just the way I do a lot of skin weighting. So let's right click here and we go vertex, select all the vertices. Let's go into our smooth skins weights. Sorry, here, and we need to be in vertices, sorry. Uh, here we have our joint one and joint two. That is joint one, that top one. So our jaw joint can be this bottom joint here. Let's come in here, joint two, and I'm going to set them all to be, uh, I hate how my 2014 does this, but we can just select all these guys here. Hit one, <coughs> and now on these joints down here, I'm going to select all this bottom stuff here very simply 
and we're going to make them all to joint 2 which I can do in the component editor by pointing point 0.5 get back our joint 2 now select all of joint 2 and do 1 okay so now I've got uh, a joint which will actually open and close the mouth so that's uh, this is sort of like showing you how you can combine uh, different objects and I'm just going to hide the joints here, of course, we would name them correctly and whatnot, but I'm just going to show you here how that would work just by selecting joint two in the outliner here, and we can see through here in our animation. Perhaps when he opens his uh, does a big smile here, uh, we can key that up to the smile, which is this frame, and then combine kind of like the <laughs> the uh, the jaw into that just as a, a little bit of a an extra thing and then come here when when the smile comes down just key into our frowny face there last frame which is here and then just come up to that sort of a shape for this section and then when the lips come up here we can just keyframe that jaw so it come in close so now we've got some jaw animation in there as well. Now this might not be the best animation in the world, but you can see that with uh, a whole bunch of expressions and a bit of a jaw shape, we can get a really a, a quite a lot of um, extreme motion very quickly from from our blend shapes. And this is exactly how I did the tough type, tough guy get demo, um, just testing out his blend shapes. And this is how I do a lot of my animation. So uh, it's a very simplified version, so you guys can get your head around it really quickly. But this is really exactly what I do. Now, uh, an added step to this is I really do break up the face into left and right so we can get some asymmetry. So the next demo will be about that. And uh, I can use some um, corrective blend shapes, so corrective uh, additive shapes when certain things come together we saw before when the eyes come down and we get some vertices that are all mixed up uh, that can be a bit annoying so we can actually uh, sculpt in a corrective shape for that so when two shapes combine they don't uh, wig out with the vertices and have a bit of control over that so I'll show you that one as well but uh, pretty much other than the left and right side and just our corrective shapes this is really it. Uh, you could also add, once you have a jaw in, you could also add some proper corrective blend shapes. Um, so when the jaw comes down, you get a bit of skin sliding and stuff like that happening. So I'll, I'll show a bit of that too, uh, perhaps next week. And um, that's really it for, for facial animation. So um, after I do this, I'll, we'll get into Mudbox as well and just show, show how sculpting programs can be really good for creating blend shapes on much more complicated characters than this.